between that you'll see in the special <laughs> right. features, but yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, making the movie was only the beginning of of the roller coaster ride. So. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm certain because I'm certain when I'm really curious about, uh, you know, when you had the movie before it got distributed, but when you thought you had like the product or when it got picked up and what state it was in and in 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 terms of how long it was and like how much post work was on it and what was the deal like with the music and if you had all those rights and, and whatnot or was that a nightmare or you know what no it's like Brian said I mean the fun part was actually just shooting it and it, and when we started out we figured it could have just been but it's still it, you know it could have been what we did last summer. It ended up being my date with Drew but we had so much fun doing it. Um, the nightmare is distribution and getting distribution. And then even when you have distribution, there's so many people out there that are just rogues that you have, sometimes you just don't have a choice. If there's only one person there who wants your product and they have a distribution channel, you have to go with them. And that's actually part of the process. And you learn the next time I'm not going to do it that way or, or I'm going to think ahead or plan. You know, you do that on every project. And if you're not learning on every project, get out of the industry because every project is a learning process. And that's the fun part. What, you don't want to be doing something, the same thing over and over again. And with every movie, because it'll be a different genre or a different cast and everything, it's going to be a different process. Our process on um, Drew was that we begged, stole, borrowed, get, well, we didn't steal so much, <laughs> but we Except pulled in. passes. Uh, uh, well, we created. <laughs> we didn't steal those. <laughs> you know, you know, that's yeah. a funny story because that, that pass thing, I had, um, we never thought Brian was going to get in. We thought it would be great for the movie. And John was calling me saying, he's freaking out. And he goes, he wants to, to, you know, not do it. And I said, are you kidding? The footage of him getting kicked out is priceless. You forced him. <laughs> so when he got in, we are just like, well, we were planning okay, on Okay, but that. hang on a second. So... The problem with that part of the story is that I think John and Brett mentioned it at Hamburger Hamlet to me before I went in that you were perfectly fine with me getting arrested. And, <laughs> I and was. that would be great. I'm so, a producer. So I was already nervous about potentially getting in. It didn't even cross my mind that I could go to jail until <laughs> that. So that was just, that was a fun night. And then Brett nearly went to jail because after he did that, Brett and John wanted to go into the party. And yeah, you know, so they used They wanted his, to get some video footage. Yeah, and uh, they used his fake pass passes to get in but by that time it was much later and they were being more picky about like let's look at your pass and they grabbed them by the neck and they're like what are you doing and they let John go and they were, and so <laughs> Brett had John, his, go, John bolted. Well, he bolted but he Brett bolted. didn't see it Brett that was the whole it. point yeah, yeah. and so the guy's standing there the security guy and yelling at Brett and Brett's like no no me and my friend and he's like yeah friend ran buddy and he turns around <laughs> he's like no John he's just gone he's like we had a whole <laughs> it was so dramatic we, we actually cut it into the movie we we shot over 85 hours of footage for, for our 90 minute wow. classic. Mm -hmm. um, and the first cut was five hours. And we loved every frame of it. <laughs> it was great. It was loved great. every frame of that five hours. And and uh, that scene with Brett, we we were rolling tape the entire time. So uh, unfortunately, we were going to use it as a deleted scene. But once you get into the business side of it, they decided not to put any deleted scenes on the DVD. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but it was it was great. The the, the experience of doing of going on this ride. I mean, honestly, we shot this movie on a camera that fits in the palm of your hand. We didn't have a microphone. We didn't have a tripod. Um, we didn't have a light. We edited the entire thing on a laptop and uh, had seven hard drives worth of, uh, of uh, uh, footage. Media. Yeah, media, yeah. Uh, and, it, and we did not make, we couldn't, we didn't have a choice. We had to make it for $1,100. I mean, that was all the money we had. So um, that $1,100 gave us the movie that went to the festivals that won all the festivals and that that got us distribution and got bought by the Oh, okay. Can theater. you talk about that? I mean, was that the same movie we see here? Yeah. Every we are very yeah. proud of the fact yeah. that every decision in this movie, editorial, yeah. creative, anything is ours. This ours. is our cut. Yeah. Was not oh, okay. touched at all. We're never going to have this creative freedom again. But you know, back to your original question which was um, our we had a, a obviously our first choice for soundtrack was not what we ended up with because just the expense of it. Mm -hmm. Even so, some of those songs were very expensive. We had to sell, we, we, we could tell them the price, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we made it for $1,100 and we sold it for 650000 But part of that, 350000 of it was to finish the film. So because of all the favors that we had pulled in, once we, we pulled those favors saying, we're going to. We didn't even say if, because they wouldn't have given us the favors. We're like, going to sell it. And at that point, you're going to get paid. And there was a while while we were straddling the fence where the buyer was going further away, and the $350,000 that we owed was like over here. And we were like it's straddling the middle thinking, 
don't go away. We need you to pay these guys. And it was really, for a while, it was very nerve-wracking. But then and ultimately... In, in addition to that, we, had to, we needed that money to, in order to pay for the music, to bump it, get a digital intermediate made, mm -hmm. get it, it onto film, yep. make the film prints, $1,000 a print. Yep. Um, and then you have, on top of that, you have all the P&A costs, the prints and advertising, so... Yeah. And the prints and advertising that was going to come out of that six fifty. We actually what? ended up. Here's the thing: we didn't make any money on that. It sounds like a lot of money, but we because we believed in our movie so so much, we told our buyers we will put the two fifty that's left over. We will put that into the P and A. But then when the movie's released, we want that money out first, and then mm. you get to collect the rest. Um, and that's when you get into <laughs> the that, evil distributors. Yeah. That's when you say we're idiots for doing that. <laughs> um, no, no, we do. No, we we did believe in the movie very yeah, much. I and, would do it and again. We wanted, yeah, I would do it I again. Would too. Um, uh, but you can't count on them yeah. getting the money back to you. That's no, the only thing. You gotta be willing to say, okay, take it. And, and you know, I mean, it, it was, one of the things I've learned, I don't know if this is your experience in a, other than my day with Drew, but a lot of people that are getting paid to do jobs professionally really don't know what they're doing in a lot of situations. That's true. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, it, it sounds like a joke, but honest to God, I mean, one example is uh, we had, um, we opened up on 58 or 55 screens? No, it was 48. 48 screens. It was, was it? It was under 50, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's 48 screens, and it was in LA, all the big markets, LA, New York, Dallas, Boston, Philadelphia. Phoenix. Phoenix. And, um... Houston. Houston. Well, was it Phoenix and Houston first? That's where Brett and John Oh, okay, so, all right, so yeah. Phoenix and Houston. Okay, so, now, you gotta understand, everybody in this town turned us down. They, we had a distribution screening because uh, CAA uh, wanted to represent us, right? After they had. Well, back up. They yeah. every, every, every single studio in town loved the movie. The next day after screening. So, this is, this is after the. After, I'm sorry, the festival exposure. No, no before. before. All before. November 18th. This, this is when we're trying to set it up, trying to get distribution. We had oh, a di okay. CAA jumped on board, and they had a distribution screening. We had so, you already had because you're repped by CAA. And that's well, we had to get them. We had, so, we had they, to get them. They contacted we us through. Our, okay, let's back up even further. You saw us put that website up in the movie, right? Yeah. The point of that website was to get that trailer out to Drew and to start spreading the word about the movie, right? Within a week, we had over 150,000 hits on that site from people all around the world saying, go for it, get that date with Drew, and if you do, get me a date with Brad Pitt or I'm going to go follow my dream, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And what we weren't expecting were to get emails from agents and studios, yeah. like, um, what was her name? Artisan. Monica. Artisan. Artisan, Artisan. Artisan Entertainment. Mm -hmm. So we took <coughs> meetings with them. And we, we decided uh, to go with CAA uh, at, the, at that juncture, and the first step was to have a distribution screening, which is where they invite all of the representatives of all the studios in town to come and see the movie at CIA and hopefully get a bidding war going, right? And, and every single distributor in town, except Disney, for reasons we don't know, wanted this movie. They were, you got to get it to us. And we, we, the four of us, literally split up, and the next day, we're biking it all around town to everybody, getting everyone. And what they were saying, I'm not sure if you can jump in if you want to say something before that, the reason they passed was because from a marketing aspect, they were saying, how do you market a movie that has Drew Barrymore in it, but you can't say that it has Drew Barrymore in it because you then lose the effect. It's right. a very valid point, but my point back to them would be, your marketers yeah. <laughs> work it out. <laughs> That's your job. We make movies. Uh -huh. We yeah. did this. You know. But there, there's never the the cool thing about my day with Drew is that there's never been a movie like this before. It is a romantic comedy wrapped up in the body of an eleven hundred dollar documentary. <laughs> yeah. Why do you laugh at that? Have you ever said that before? I love saying it. It's awesome. We created a genre. Karis is awesome.